Zachariah, and I'm going to be telling you about the life cycle of an ant. Uh, the life cycle of an ant starts out when the queen, uh, bee, the queen ant lays an uh, egg. Most ant eggs are about uh, 0 0.02 inches around. They are taken care of by the worker ants, and they take care of them. Uh, and then they become ant larvae. Ant lar the larvae are usually about 2 to 1 inches in length. These larvae, they like molt in order to grow. Most larvae molt three times. After the larvae's last molts, like they've molted three times, they <coughs> form a cocoon in which they transform into the pupa. And then when they have been in the cocoon for about two weeks, they, be, they break out and they use their uh, mandibles or the things that you see on the front of them mm -hmm. to break out of the cocoon. And sometimes the, the pupa, they come out early, so the worker ants have to like help them break open the cocoon. And then when they grow up, there's three different things that they can, three different types of ants. There's worker ants, male ants, and the, and the queen ants. Um, the worker ants do most of the hard work, like taking care of eggs and like getting food. And then the male ants mostly just serve the queen directly, like taking eggs to the nurseries.